Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bones Tech. In today's video, we are viewing the Manfrotto B-Free Advanced Travel Tripod with the Manfrotto 494 Ball Head. You can pick up this kit on Amazon for under $200, and that is a really good price point considering everything that you're getting with the system. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and talk about the actual tripod legs itself. They are made out of aluminum, so they are very lightweight. They're not gonna be quite as lightweight as carbon fiber, but they are still very lightweight. Manfrotto does produce a carbon fiber version of this tripod, which is even lighter, but this is only 3.29 pounds to begin with, so the carbon fiber version is lighter weight, but this is really not bad at all, and being aluminum, it is very manageable and built very strong as well. This tripod is available with both lever lock and twist lock legs. I go back and forth which one I like better. I always feel a little bit more secure with the lever lock. You just press it and it really feels good. However, these twist locks are super cool because you can just twist them all at once and then they all slide out super fast and easy. So I go back and forth to which I like better. Now this tripod is made in Italy and the build quality here feels very, very nice. All the metals here and finishings are done really nicely. The center column here actually feels very secure. So if I max this out here and if I tighten it down a decent amount and then if I hold pressure here on the tripod and then move the camera around, you can see there really isn't a lot of movement even with shaking it. I think the only movement that you're seeing here is actually from my table shaking a little bit, but it's very solid and very nice and it feels really good and secure here. Now the tripod legs actually lock here in three different positions, so I'm gonna demonstrate that really fast. To open up the legs, they have this really nice locking system. Just press it down and then you can move it out right here. And again, there's three different locks. So the first lock actually locks the tripod in basically here at a very straight angle. And this is gonna be great for getting those nice and low shots. And of course we do have to extend the center column to get that low. But here in the first stage, we can basically see the tripod is sitting almost flat on the ground. The next stage we can see here, it is at a more usable angle for most photographers. And this is gonna get us some very steady shots here. So here with the second locking position, again, this is gonna really help us get down low to the ground. And the tripod legs like this can help us get some really cool, you know, time lapses that are nice and low to the ground uh, for an ocean scene or something like that. Now the last angle we have here is our traditional angle here on our tripod. This locking system is very secure and you definitely gotta pull down with a good amount of pressure to make sure that it actually unlocks. But once it's locked in, it's very solid and isn't going anywhere. Here we have the third position, which is gonna give us the most height. Now let's go ahead and remove the table and see how tall this tripod is. Okay, so let's say you're out walking around and you want to open your tripod up quickly. Again, you can just twist all these at once and it's gonna slide out and then you just twist them the other way. This locking system is really fast and easy to use. It's really nice to be able to deploy our tripod nice and fast, that way we don't miss that shot. A lot of times I'm out in nature and I'm just trying to get that shot really fast and it's really nice to be able to have a tripod that opens up really, really quickly and yet is also very secure. So here we we are at the max height of this tripod and here we can see it's a little disappointingly sharp even though the tripod folds up very nice and smallly it's relatively short I'm a little under six foot here and here I'll actually lower the center column just a little bit to give you a good idea of how tall it is without the center column extended and as you guys can see again just a little smaller than I would like it if I bring the center column up here it's gonna make it a little bit more manageable but of course with the center column extended it's definitely gonna add a little bit of extra wiggle to our tripod. So here I'm gonna take a picture looking down the viewfinder. I do have to bend down just a little bit at this max height. So if you're taller than six foot, you're definitely gonna have to bend over a decent amount. So unfortunately this tripod is not gonna be perfect for people who are really tall. The max height here is 59 inches. But here with the tripod extended to the max height, it's definitely very sturdy and doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. You can see a little bit of a jiggle if I shake it here in the legs, nothing too crazy, great for photography and also for video. This tripod also has a hook here to the side so you can hook up your camera bag to weigh down the tripod and help it become more stable. This tripod has a max weight capacity of over 17 pounds. You definitely can load this up and not worry about it breaking. Now over here on the other side of the hook, we can see Manfrotto's Easy Link system. And here we can screw in a 3 8 inch accessory, which is gonna be really handy. We can hook up uh, screens or microphones or anything that has a 3 8 inch accessory accessory straight into the side of the tripod. Now another really cool feature here on this tripod is we can actually reverse the direction of this center column. So all you do is you pull this little plug here out at the bottom 
It's just this little piece that's meant to come in and out. I'll put that in my pocket here. And then you untighten the center column here and then boom, just like that, you have it disconnected. And as you guys can see here, it literally just takes seconds. Now to lock this in and make it secure again, we're going to twist this little uh, tightening knob here and then put the little stop back in. And, and just like that, we can take some photos at some really cool and low to the ground angles. So this is a really cool feature that Manfrotto allows you to do with this tripod. And ever since I bought this tripod, I've been using this feature all the time to get some really cool and interesting shots. Now to put this all back again, we pull the little uh, rubber stop here and and again, I'll put that in my pocket. Then we untwist here. Now make sure, of course, to hold your camera very securely, probably with two hands, preferably. Uh, and then we just pop it right on just like this. We lock it down and we are good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and collapse the tripod to show you guys how fast that is here with these locks. And it's super easy. We can tighten them all with one hand. This is really good for those of you who are running and gunning. It makes your life super easy to open up the tripod and close it very quickly. Let's move the desk back in here so we can place the camera here. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the ball head. Now this 494 Manfrotto head is also really nice and I believe if you were to buy it by itself, it is actually a $80 ball head which is pretty expensive. But Manfrotto definitely didn't cheap out with this head. So there are actually only two knobs here. The first one's going to lock our head down here on the tripod and the second allows us to change the tightness here of the ball. So the ball here makes it super easy to take the camera and shoot at basically any angle. And we also have a cutout here on the ball which allows us to use this camera to take portraits. However, the cutout here is only on one side, it's not on the other. But that's not a big deal because we can actually unlock it here and then we can relock it and then we can actually twist it around just like that and now we have it on the other side. So you don't have to worry about it being only locked to the left or the right position. We can have it here on both. Now the lock mechanism here on the side has a ton of grip. It's super easy to grab and just manhandle and tighten down or loosen up. It's super easy and nice. I really do like this. It feels great. This gives us a ton of control over the tightness. We can have it very tight or we can also have it very loose in just a matter of seconds. And this knob is way better than that little joystick or the little stick that you pull towards you and pull away from you to tighten it on a normal cheaper tripod. This is just next level and makes life so much easier. This head does feature Manfrotto's quick release plates, which are really nice. You can easily pop it in and pop it out securely. And it actually does have a lock here for redundancy. So if I just pull on the original tab, it's not gonna allow the camera to go down. I have to press down here on this little black button first and then pull and then the camera can come out. So that way if you bump into it, you don't have to worry about the camera falling loose. This camera is not gonna come off the tripod until I first press the black button and then the gray button. And these tripod plates are also made out of aluminum. They feel very strong and substantial. And something else that I really like about this is it actually has one of these little flip out things that allow you to put the tripod plate on and off without the need of using a screwdriver or a coin. This is a must for a travel tripod because it's always a pain in the neck when you get out there on the field, you need to tighten it down and you don't have anything but your hands tighten it down with. And then just a big disaster. This is really nice and very secure. You can twist it, it has a really good feel on it. You can get a good purchase on it and really just tighten that bad Larry down and be good to go. Now this tripod actually comes with a really cool carrying case that actually has a little bit of padding right here. So you can easily put that behind your back and travel with it. Again, this tripod is so lightweight, you'll barely know that it's there. And it's really cool that Manfrotto gives you the little carrying case to move this camera around when you're on the go. Now with this tripod, you don't have to use the 494 head. You can unscrew it and then we have a 3 8 inch head. And from there we can actually mount basically anything. So here we actually have a big Manfrotto video head, which is gonna give us some really nice fluid uh, shots here. The model number of this head is the MVH502 AH. So with this head and this tripod, I was able to get some shots that I couldn't with my big tripod just because of the size. This thing probably weighs like 20 pounds or something crazy like that. And this is so lightweight. And I'm also able to get this in a lot of tight areas that I'm not gonna be able to get this in. So it's actually really cool to have that ability to put basically any head you want that is 3 8 inch onto it and it works perfectly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it's a little bit different from my normal content of reviewing just strictly cameras, but I'm going to try to branch out into some more lighting reviews and some 
other really fun reviews here on this channel as well. We'll get back to my tech roots, not just cameras. That being said, I am still working hard on my Canon EOS R6 review. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you be notified when that new video comes out. So far, I'm loving it, and it's a really good camera. But that's all we have for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.